What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be getting into. Shout out to my girl, Miss Aaliyah, who requested that I do a reaction to this video, man. I want to shout out to iPay's attention for creating this video. Her link will be the first in the description down below. If y'all want to go check around and subscribe to her channel. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Teddy ain't your mama. The Teddy Uncle Joey still a hoe. Let's get right into the video, but let's get it. Has been doing a lot lately. She has thrown some major shade. She has been doing a lot lately. Yes, she has. Where's Ray? Since then, Ray has responded. Also, I want to talk about some other things that went down between them. So let's get into it. Clearly, when Deja is aware of what's being said about her, of course, and she's feeling the heat because she took the to Twitter to say this. No matter who I ended up with, y'all would have done the same stuff to me. Because I'm not with the person y'all want, want me, me to, to be with. with. Get yeah, off my cat and let me live. I wish everybody that... I mean, it really is her decision to be with who she wants to be with. And yeah, some people would be upset because they like to see Deja and Ray together. But at the same time, you have to let her go do her and let Ray heal and be able to attract the person that she actually deserves. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like I said, if you don't see your worth, nobody will. If you don't value yourself, it's hard for other people to value value you. If you don't love yourself, it's hard for you to give love and it's hard for you to receive love and attract somebody who will love you the way you love yourself. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I do feel like even if she did probably get with the stud, like a different stud, Deja would still get hate. So I don't think it's a man or woman thing, a lesbian or straight thing. I think it's just, you know, they were so used to seeing Deja and Ray. All the fans like to see them together or whatever the case was. And to see everything go down the way it did, it just looked real, real fucked up, you know. And it looked like she just left Ray in the dust. Like I said, they just recently broke up and you're already jet life to the next life to the next nigga. So I don't care who it is or who it would have been. It would have been the same shit. She still would have got hate because of how quickly she moved on. Like I said, their last anniversary, their anniversary video was two months ago, y'all. And to move on so quickly and so swiftly and be all about this nigga and, and, oh, he take care of me. And, you know, when I was with Ray, I wasn't being taken care of. I was taking care of myself. So how is this new dude taking care of you? Is he paying your rent at your new spot? Like, in what ways is he taking care of you? That's what I want to know. Because I keep bringing up the same fact that we heard him cut your ass out on live. So he's obviously not taking care of you in that type of way. So in what way? It's got to be some type of financial gain or something like that. And then we also know that Ray also says something about gold diggers or something about, you know, women who like money and this and that and the other on a tweet. So when you put two and two together, it's like the things that Ray are saying or the things that Ray has said are now making sense when you look at how Lindasia has been moving, if that makes sense. Let me know how y'all feel. The best. So I do agree with Lindasia to a certain extent that no matter who she would have moved That's on true. to, people mm -hmm. would have been talking. Giraffe, animal, white person, black person, girl, boy, smurf. Either way... People still would have hated. I mean, just because people are so used to seeing her and Ray together. Yeah. But I think more of the issue is how Lindeja is going about. How you moving is moving kind of grimy. I ain't going to lie. You moving grimy. You moving slimy. You nigga talking shit. Nigga, we didn't ask for your opinion on nothing, my nigga. Stay in your motherfucking place. Stay in your lane, bro. If you the new nigga, what do you have to prove? Really, though, what do you have to prove? Why are you talking shit, my nigga? Like, I just don't understand, bro. Oh, thanks. I don't get it. So let's address the elephant in the room. The let's first issue that people are having is how quickly Lindeja moved on. That's and the I'm biggest thing. Lindeja moved on very quickly <laughs> um, to the point that people are questioning, when did she actually start talking to Lando? Let's re I'm telling y'all, go look at the anniversary vlog. Go look at Ray's last video with Lindeja on her page. And go peep. How Lindasia was treating Ray in that video. And this is supposed to be an anniversary vlog. A romantic, oh my gosh, butterflies in my stomach, I love you type of vlog. Go check it out. 
Matter of fact, go check out my, my reaction. I just reacted to it a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, whatever the case was. And I broke some of it down. I only watched like half of it because the shit was like an hour and something long. And you will see. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if Lindasia was texting Lando during the filming of that video. All up in her phone, smiling, cheesing and shit. While you're not even smiling and cheesing at your anniversary trip to Miami with your supposed boo, your baby, your love, you know? So, mm. rewind a bit to December when Lindaja was tweeting a lot of things that let people know that her and Ray were not on good terms. She tweeted so much bad stuff been happening to me since Christmas Eve. I literally can't take anymore. Mm. She also tweeted the following: "The evilest stuff you can do is real life hurt somebody and play victim. Karma is real." My heart is big. If I love you, there's not anything I wouldn't do for you. I go above and beyond for mine every single time. You can only mess that up. It's different ways to express hurt, especially when you would have never thought it would come from someone you genuinely love. I don't need nobody trying to tell me how to heal or how to go about any situation nobody truly knows about. So it's obvious that her and Ray were going through a rough patch. But what isn't clear is when her and Ray actually broke up. Because yeah. Lindasia didn't announce that she was single until she was exposed for talking to Lando. <laughs> That's when she tweeted this. Let's be clear. I've, I've been, been single. single. I'm still single. You've been single, yes. But like I said, it couldn't have been that long ago. Because just two months ago, y'all was popping out for your anniversary vlog. Okay? So I don't understand. You could say that you've been single all you want. Was you single on the anniversary vlog? Because I thought an anniversary meant that y'all was together. Because if not, why have an anniversary? Why even celebrate an anniversary? So maybe in her mind she'd been single. She just didn't let Ray know that she was single. I know when enough is enough. So leave me alone. If you don't mess with me, don't. But leave stop trying me to get alone. To together because y'all still at zero. Let's not forget, Lindaja is the one who alleges that Ray cheated on her. Mm -hmm. Only for it to be looking like she might she was have been the, the one sneaking during the relationship. The other thing people are having an issue with is how Lindaja is going out of her way at the moment to downplay Ray and to kind of hurt Ray publicly. Facts. Ray tweeted, I'm forgiving, but once you start doing stuff to intentionally hurt me, I'm, I'm moving, moving the fuck out, out your way. way. I don't blame you. She it. also said, never downplay somebody that had you for Facts. Words. Why belittle somebody? Why do that? Like, once upon a time, like Ray said, you was with that person. So, clearly she's referring to her and Lindaja's situation. And I can see where she's... She downplaying and belittling Ray while lifting this new nigga up. You know? Like, coming from, like I said, it's one thing to break up with someone, but it's another thing to go out of your way to hurt them publicly. Right. And also to downplay, you know, what they meant to you right. or certain things they may have done for you. For example, she has allowed Lando to go on live and clearly <laughs> disrespect Ray by calling Ray out of her name. Now, I'm going to say this, look. I'm not going to put Lando's actions on Lindasia. That's what we're not going to do. He's a grown-ass fucking man. All right. And clearly, he's not going to allow Lindasia to tell him what to do. Because <laughs> we all seen in that live, he was telling her what to do. So, I can't blame Lindasia for what Lando says. Because he's a grown ass motherfucking man. He has his own thoughts, his own mind, and he's going to say what the fuck he want to say. So, Lindasia, I don't think, has much control over that. But anyway, let's see what he had to say. She ain't got more money than me, though. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Granted. <laughs> Sometimes I say bitch and I mean woman. I mean lady. I mean girl. Okay. That's just how I talk. So I can see how this could be taken out of context. It just looks bad because you're speaking about Lindage's ex, Ray. So if you put bitch in the sentence speaking about Ray, I could understand why people would be pissed off. But I will say that I use bitch, lady, woman all interchangeably. Sometimes bitch just sound better. It just sound better to say bitch like my bitch or this bitch. It just comes, it rolls off the tongue better. So I'm not going to say that he called her a bitch, but he did use bitch to describe 
a woman and that woman is Ray. <laughs> so let me know how y'all feel, man. Do y'all really feel like he was being disrespectful? I just feel like, man, why try to one up or why try to compete or compare yourself to your new boo's ex? And it's a, it's a woman. It's a woman. Like he said, it's a woman. So why even speak on, uh, I don't know, man. That's not manly. I don't think any real man would come online talking about, like you said, a bitch, a woman, somebody, your woman's ex-woman. I don't know, guys. By I don't calling know. Ray out of her name. She ain't got more money than me. I didn't see this part. I guess people bleeped it out, the bitch part, because, you know, YouTube or whatever the case, sometimes they're really strict about curse words. I didn't even know he said bitch in his live because somebody must have bleeped it out. Whoever got the footage that I reacted to. I've and clearly disrespect Ray by calling Ray out of her name. She ain't got more money than me, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She might look better. I don't give a damn shit, bitch. She's supposed to look better. She ain't got more money than me, though. And she also. I just hate how people hide behind their fucking money, bro. Great. Have all the money that you want. But I want to know how your inside is. Are you spiritually broke? A lot of these niggas have all these riches on the outside, but inside they broke as fuck. But anyway, that's another story. So went live recently where she was yelling at her phone and basically <laughs> further cursing. She always yelling at that fucking phone in somebody who can laugh. I mean, what Lando said. <laughs> She said he said what he said. So, yeah, you you going to bat for that nigga that quick. This quick. Two months ago, you was doing an anniversary vlog with your bitch, right? So, you went from that to, like, pedestalizing this new nigga, bruh. And, like, allowing him or, or defending him. Not allowing him because he could say what he want to say. But defending him publicly and saying he said what he said. La, 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 la. You know what I'm saying? Roger that. I'm the backup. Also, she said that Ray didn't make any real money because she only made YouTube money. Mm -hmm. That's tough. So it really makes it seem like whenever Ray did say that, you know, women are gold diggers or whatever she said about money, women and money. We know she was referring to Deja when she was talking about that, right? I understand where she's coming from now because look at how she's acting. She's acting like money is everything. And once again, I asked the question, if he didn't have any money, would you date him? If he was just making YouTube money, YouTube money, right? Because you can't spend YouTube money, right? You can only go to the YouTube website and like purchase YouTube items. I don't know. I guess that's what you could do with YouTube money, right? So comment down below, guys. If he was broke, do you guys think that Lindasia would give him the time or day? If he was just making YouTube money, do you guys think that she would give him the time or day? Let me know in the comments. This does not make her look good, though. And it looks like she used Ray for the wrong reasons, you know? And now she's using this nigga for his money. I don't know, man. I really don't know. She's young. She'll figure it out or maybe she won't. I don't know. I don't judge her at all. She's living her life. She's doing her thing. It is what it is, right? It's not my life. Sure. She also implied that Ray didn't do anything for her and mm -hmm. she took care of herself. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So once again, I pose the question. How is Lando taking care of you? Is he paying your rent for your new place? Like what exactly is he doing? Because you're making it seem like he does take care of you. What is he doing? That Ray didn't do for you. So what? You're not buying Lando shit? He's just buying you shit now? I, I don't understand. Are you mad that you had to buy Ray stuff too? Do you feel like you had to buy her stuff too? Or, you know, I feel like when you buy things for people in a relationship, that's because something you genuinely want to do. It's not because I feel obligated. You done done this for me. Now I feel like I got to do this for you. So, you know. Damn, damn, I didn't hear all of this. So she says, I might have been living with that person, but now I got my own shit. So it sounds like you use Ray as a stepping stone to get to where you want to be, baby. To get to where you are. Damn. 
I might have been living with that person, but now I got my own shit, so fuck her, basically. Tough. That's why you got to hang around and be with people who value you. But first and foremost, guys, fuck everybody else. You have to value you. Because if you value you, there's no way that you will allow and tolerate certain shit from people, okay? This would not even be a situation that occurred because she would have been skeeted and deleted out of your life because you value yourself more than you value her and her bullshit, right? Ain't no fucking way. But sometimes we got to go through these tough lessons so we can get to the point to where we're like, man, I need to slow down, work on myself so I can value and love myself. So I can put myself first. So I can have my cup runneth over. So I can give to other people because right now I can't even give to the most important person, which is myself. I'm giving to everybody else and they're shitting on me. And of course they're shitting on you because you're not valuing yourself. Shit on me is what you're saying. It's a big sign on your forehead that says shit on me. Because you are wanting to love everyone, everything, except you. And I'm not saying this about Ray or Deja or anything. I'm just saying in general, guys, okay? We have to value and love ourselves. I keep harping on this. But it's so very important that we do that, you know? Because if not, it's so easy to get in situations to where we're used just like this and we're abused or whatever the case is, guys, you know? I got a hair on my So after all the shit. little shots being thrown by Lando and Lindeja, Ray Ooh. responded on Twitter by saying, pew, pew, pew. it's getting weirder by the day. <laughs> and I would have to agree. It is getting a little weird on Lindeja's end. She's going really hard and really out of her way to speak negatively on Ray. And speak highly of her new, new nigga. Ray also tweeted, I just want one person to never give up on me or turn their back on me because I swear I'm worth it. Ray, I just want to tell you, that the one person that should never give up on you and the one person who should never turn their back on you because you're worth it is yourself. It won't matter who the fuck turns their back on you if you have your own back. All right? And that goes for all of y'all. If you don't have your own back, like... What are we doing here? You can't expect somebody to always have your back. You know why? Because they are not you. They are somebody else. You can't control whether somebody's going to stay in your life, whether somebody's going to treat you right, whether, whether somebody's going to cheat, lie, steal. But you, can, you have full control over what you do and how you feel about yourself and how much you have your own back and how much you can trust yourself, how much you can love yourself, how much you can value yourself. The one person that you need, Ray, and you watching this video, the number one person that you need is yourself. A lot of the times we look to other people to value us, to love us, to never run away from us, to never leave us, to never turn their back on us, to never give up on us. When we have given up on loving ourselves, we have given up on valuing ourselves, we have given up on us. When we have our own back, it don't fucking matter who walks out the door because I got me. I got me. So fuck you, respectfully or disrespectfully, however you want to take it. And it might sound fucked up, but that's what it is. You got to love yourself. You have to value yourself. That way, it doesn't matter who the fuck values you, values you or not. You can fucking leave. Kiss my ass until it's grass, bitch. Because I got me. And I am all that I need. Now, I'm not trying to say that you should not be in romantic relationships and have friendships and do this and do that. All I'm saying is you will be okay either way. If that person leaves, stays, goes with a giraffe or whatever the case is, you will be okay because you have you and you love you. You have the strongest relation, the strongest relationship that you have besides God with is yourself. Stop pedestalizing people, places, things, Pedestalize your relationship with God and your relationship with yourself. And I promise you can never go wrong. You can never let yourself down unless you let yourself down. You can never be rejected unless you reject yourself. I 
I'm just speaking facts, y'all. I may not have it all now, but eventually I will. And that's the problem. You think that you need to have something to be of value. <laughs> that's the problem with this world nowadays. Social media, commercialism, consumerism. You're always looking at the next person and saying, damn, if I had that, then maybe I could have kept her. If I had that, then maybe this person would like me. If I had that, then maybe I get the approval or maybe I get the love that I'm not giving myself. You have it all. That's what you have to realize. You have everything that you need. You have always had, every, you've always been good enough. Like I said in the previous videos, y'all, we come into this world of value, not high value, not low value, but of value. We are all valuable. Even a homeless person on the street that ain't got shit material wise is of value. There's nothing that we can do to be more valuable. Yes, we can give value to the world by helping other people, by giving, by, you know, different things that we do. But we are all of value. There's nothing that we can buy. There's no amount of success that we can have that makes us more valuable, guys. I'm no more valuable than the janitor that works at McDonald's. I'm no more valuable. Stop allowing social media to tell you that you're not good enough because you don't have what your neighbor has. That's not true value. <laughs> It's great to have nice things. I like nice things. But once you get a certain amount of nice things, you see that this shit doesn't bring happiness. It's temporary. What are you going to do? Just buy nice things every single day to, to make yourself happier? No, that's not the way to live. You got to understand yourself. You got to know yourself. You got to love yourself enough to say, man, regardless of what material things I have or I don't have, no matter what success I have or don't have, I'm of value because I'm me. There's not one person on this world who is me. I am unique. I bring something different to the world. Everybody has that ability to see your own value. But if you don't know who the fuck you are, you can't love yourself. And you're going to be looking outside of yourself. Material things, drinks, alcohol, drugs, women, niggas. You're going to be looking outside of yourself for the love that you need to give yourself. Nobody can love you like you can love you. And I promise when you love you like you should love you, the external world will not fucking matter. It won't matter who stays or goes. Yeah, you might want them to stay, but you don't need them to stay. You're not desperate for them to stay. You're not desperate to try to manipulate situations to try to get people to stay and do this and do that. Because at, at the end of the day, y'all... Everybody has free will and you should allow them to exercise their free will, you know? And like I said, you will be okay if you have your own back. If you love yourself, it doesn't matter who comes in and out of your life, baby. You are there for you. And that's the most important thing. I didn't stretch this video so fucking long, but I feel like, man, with these drama videos, I feel like there is so many teachable moments. There is so many things that I just want to share with you guys. And I feel like in order for me to continue doing content, like the drama content and stuff like that, that you guys love for me to react to, I have to make sure that I'm doing my part. And my part is to wake people up, to stretch your minds, open your minds, and just entertain the fact that maybe... Maybe I'm not loving myself and value, valuing myself in the ways that I need to. Maybe I'm not taking a deeper look at why I'm moving in the ways that I'm moving. That's all I'm trying to do with these videos, guys. I know some people are going to be like, oh my God, you talk so fucking much. Fuck you, bitch. Get off the motherfucking video, okay? Respectfully or disrespectfully, however you want to take it. I don't give a fuck. You guys who appreciate these videos, that's who I'm doing it for. Fuck everybody else. I could give a fuck, all right? I don't give a damn. What are you doing here anyway? You feel me? If you don't fuck with me, what are you doing here? <laughs> Point blank, period. It is what it is. But for the people who do resonate with this type of content and do feel what I'm saying, I just want to help y'all. I really do. You know, I really want to see y'all succeed. I really want to see y'all just know yourself, love yourself and value yourself. Because if you don't do that, your life is going to be miserable. Anyway, let's try to finish up this video. So from this tweet, I get the impression that Ray feels like Lindeja gave up on the relationship and gave up on her as a person. 
Ray also posted the following quote to her story. It says, one day they'll realize they gave up on a diamond to play with rock. That's the shit to be happening, man. <clears throat> That's the shit to be happening. Like I said, you got to see the value in you. That way, if that person doesn't see the value in you, you can say, fuck you, kick her to the curb, and you won't be in a relationship to where you feel like, man, I need this person, you know, and why don't they want me? Why don't they want me? No, fuck them. If they don't want you, you see your value and you see your worth. So you end up dismissing her before she even is able to like get anywhere with you. Clearly she's referring to, you know, what went down between her and Lindeja. She's basically saying that, you know, she is a diamond in the rough and she feels like Lindeja gave that up to go entertain Lando. Okay, mm. my little two cents. Lindeja is single, so technically she has mm -hmm. the right to move how she wants mm -hmm. to. But mm -hmm. I don't get why she's surprised at the response at the hate. she's getting when she moved on so quickly. Right, the right. way she's going so hard to defend and big up Lando Man. while putting down Ray is weird. She's doing it's her crazy. best to convince people she's fully healed and moved on. And that she's so happy with this guy. But it's not convincing. Stop and it. I feel like most people are seeing through the act. It seems like Lindeja is acting out of hurt, even though she claims to be so unbothered. She stated that Ray was nonchalant during the relationship and never fought to make it work. She expressed those feelings in the following tweet by saying, I'm drained. This relationship has drained me. Rainisha never cared. She was blunt about that. I begged her, constantly cried. You've never fought for our relationship ever until I finally left. It's almost like she's being this bold to say you didn't care then. But I bet you care now. Ray seems to be processing everything that happened in the relationship. During the hot seat video with Neek, she even asked her if she feels like Lindeja was using her. I get it because Lindeja is acting like she never cared for Ray. Do you think I was being used in my prior relationship? Be honest. From what you told me? Yeah, like just everything I done told you. Do you think I was being used in my prior relationship? I think, guys. <sighs> <sighs> Ray also stated that she didn't want no more women with kids. Despite what Lindeja is saying now, Ray showed her son love, so I'm sure it hurts to bond with someone's kid then break up. Oh, no woman with no more kids. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll take that. I'll take that, okay. Uh, I don't know if it's all love kids, but that's just not my forte no more. I wish healing for them both is all yeah man yeah hey shout out to i pays attention really good video i hope everything simmers down after this to be honest you know i hope she doesn't do too much i hope both sides just like like she said just heal move on and and be the best that they can be and you know i don't know situation's crazy as fuck but anyway guys let me know in the comment section down below i've already said all i had to say more than i had to say but y'all already know i had to come through with the video a lot of you guys wanted my reaction so there it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Tell a your mama to tell a Uncle Joey. Still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.